Hey guys, welcome back to another Stardust video. In today's video, I'm doing the Bellator Systems Testbed. This is a Star Dreadnought. This is the first Star Dreadnought in the game. The MC-104, which is the New Republic ship, is classed not as a Dreadnought or Star Dreadnought. It's classed as a Star Defender. This thing is the longest ship and largest ship in the game currently. And as you can see, it's seven kilometers long. This thing is massive. It has a ton of health. It does have armor, classic ISD armor, so 0.7, so it's not much, but it really means this thing has over 500,000 health, which is a lot of health. <laughs> 200,000 shield HP, then more than like 275,000 HP, plus the armor, making that more than 300,000, meaning this thing has over 500k health. Now, the thing about the Bellator is I've seen a lot of people were worried that when they added it, it was going to be severely unbalanced because, well, um, it's a Star Dreadnought going against things like an OSA or any other brawler. Can't really compete with this thing. But this thing has pretty much no point defense. As you can see here, it has four Imperial Heavy Laser Cannons, which on themselves aren't great. As you can see here, that that they're, they're, they're not very they're not very good. They have really long reloads, and so um, yeah, um, good good luck uh, on those actually defending you against anything. I'd be surprised if they shoot down anything. And then you have a really really small spur fighter wing for a ship of your size, which is actually quite balanced. And this thing is highly unmaneuverable and really slow. So at mid ranges, it's gonna suffer, uh, and it won't be able to speed up enough. So the counter this thing is basically carriers or lighter destroyers like the Halo destroyers, maybe some expanse ships, you also, you got you or space battleship Yamato ships, because you know spinning against a Star Wars brawler is really easy and there's pretty much nothing they can do about you. And it has no missiles, so it can't counter you that way. And so I'd say this thing is actually pretty balanced by the fact it also has a 300 second respawn time. Which, if you want to do some quick maths, that's a five minute respawn timer. You're not going to see someone spamming this very often. Like, at all. Um, in my experience, it pretty much will just maul anything that's a brawler in front of it. Like, oh my god, this thing does so much damage in a single shot. Um, the grind is 10 million XP currently with the Allegiance, which... Um, there's no, there's, I don't really need to say anything else. It's the, it's the allegiance. It's, it's the most horrible grind you're ever gonna do. Um, the allegiance is not great, and has never been that great, and it always has been the most painful thing to grind with. It took me quite a few cup, like maybe six to eight hours to grind it using my uh, d -d 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 couple of boosters. So you can understand someone who doesn't have that many boosters is gonna find it a little bit harder to grind for it so the grind ain't great but is it worth it hell yeah this thing's bloody amazing to play i love it so much um and i wouldn't i would argue it doesn't really need a nerf on the damage it's 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 quite well balanced surprisingly most ships that come out like this are well quite unbalanced but the fact that it's so slow, unmaneuverable, and has no means of defending itself from missiles, carriers, or smaller craft, makes it kind of, well, only good at fighting other brawlers. So I would say it is balanced. It's a perfect brawler. That's a brawler you want it to be. Um, I am happy that they are adding more dreadnoughts to the game. I'm hoping eventually they can make, like, I don't know, like a tier 6 and start going even larger. I know that would make the grind even more painful. Because these larger ships are going to be like 15 million, 20 million XP. But there are people in this game who would probably grind to that. Because there are people in this game, like myself, who pride themselves on pretty much getting nearly every single ship minus a few. As you can see, I, I, I don't have these because I already had the tier 5s. So there's no point grinding for the tier 4s. Um, but yeah, that's enough rambling. Let's get into it. There's another one of us. Well, I'm sorry, brother. I am I highly, <clears throat> I highly apologize. However, you can see that single salvo did 50k, which um, is very funny. And um, yeah, he got, he got mauled, he got shredded. I don't think 
there is anything left of him. Awesome. One thing I wanted to point out, the armor is pretty much everywhere but the bridge. The bridge is the point with no armor, so in like all uh, Imperial fashion, the single A-wing is going to fly into your bridge and take down your entire ship. Uh, in this case, if people just target your bridge, they will be able to kill you from that. Well, not kill you, but they do more damage than hitting the rest of you, which can be easily countered by literally just going boop. Which I would say, it's not the armor isn't great to really counter that. But if you really wanted to, you could make the big ball on the bottom the weak spot, which would be very fun for most people. And ho 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 ho, this is a copper head. He is not going to have a nice time. It's going to do like the first shot is going to do like all his health. I'm not even joking. It's going to like do half his health. Yep. There is literally nothing left of this man. <laughs> oh my god. It's it's like having the Compeller again. When the Compeller used to be like one of the most feared ships like 3 years ago, and nowadays it's just kind of like that yeah it exists it's there it's now a fast like battleship cruiser thing uh it's very different to what it was uh but it's definitely being replaced by the bellator which is very very beefy and oh my i do not want to get in front of it why would you spawn a carrier in front of a bellator okay sir that is not Okay, actually, I need to get rid of Zikaria first, so he doesn't launch all his fighters and come towards me, because, um, as we all know, as I explained earlier, the Bellator has pretty much zero point defense and any means of defending itself, because it's such a large ship and it has this much fighter wing, which, um, ain't great. I'm just gonna say now. No. Okay. He's dead. You are not gonna have a nice time, my friend. You have armor, so do I. But, um, yeah, I'm getting very much uh, Super Star Destroyer vibes here. So large, this thing. Uh, it's also extremely funny to shoot this with a uh, uh, Vesuvio Scatter because it's so large, you can do like wipe out its shields in one shot, which is very fun. Not fun for the Bellator. But this thing is just so tanky, man. Like, mm, I'm pretty sure this is the, the carrier player who's come in a ship which... Yeah, it's, it's not going to have a, a nice time here. And just melting his health away and he's gone. I've only been spawned for a couple of minutes and like actual damage and I've only and I've already done 700k. My first match of the Bellator I got 2 million score which is not very surprising. This thing is very tanky and um, very annoying to see because um, if you're another brawler you just know if that thing targets you you're probably going to die unless your entire team's against it and none of its team are alive which is extremely unlikely. Another thing is the shield regen rate. It has a very low cooldown on the shield regen, regen. So it will start regening your health pretty quickly and oh look, it's a Star Destroyer. Oh boy. Fluffer, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he scuttles. Cause I, okay. No, he's not, he's, he's going for it. I salute you, sir. You are a brave soul. I give you that. You are very brave indeed. Unfortunately, the Imperials aren't ready. Uh, I'm just going to go for your bridge. Actually, there's no point going for that because uh, the, the dispersion rate on this is quite high. Oh, look, he's back to shoot his Mac gun at me. And I'm here to melt his health away again. They are slowly grinding away on my health, but as you can see here, the damage is quite high and very funny. I, find, I hear funny sound. Oh, is that another Bellator right above me? <laughs> it is. There's two of them. I, I Earlier today, I, I, I got uh, three, three Bellators 
on the same team, on the same side, and we just completely annihilated and... Oh my god. Get that thing away from me. Get that thing away from me. Oh, fuck. Ow. I'm gonna kill you. I'll kill you. Yay! Bellata, 1.2 million. Very funny 1v1-ing ships over and over again. Kills like five ships before he dies. Yes, and now I'm gonna be back in 300 seconds. See you in a bit. Oh, Fluffer. You're gonna have a nice time. He hasn't noticed me yet. He's gonna notice me. Very. Oh, now, now he's noticed me. Unfortunately for him, um, I'm a Bellator. So, um, yeah. He's, uh, slowly, not slowly, very quickly going to lose all his health. And there we go. This is what I mean by, uh, missiles. This thing can't do anything against missiles. So, um, yeah, that's cool. He can just shoot me from way over there, and there's pretty much nothing I can do about it, which, like I keep saying, makes the Bellator quite a balanced ship by the fact that it can't defend itself against anything with missiles. It needs other ships to support it. Whereas it doesn't do very well. And as you can see there, I did a load of damage, and I've pretty much only lost my shields. And yeah, that does it for the Bellator video. The Bellator is quite balanced, as I've said countless times in this video, by the fact that it can't count on missiles, carriers, or spinny ships like Space Ship Yamato, or lightly ships like the Halo Destroyers. So that makes it quite balanced. Uh, it's very fun because it's basically the Brawler King, the Brawler Emperor one, we could say, because it can just one-shot, well, just out-brawl any other brawler in the game right now and yeah i highly recommend grinding for it even if the grind is absolutely horrible and disgusting in every conceivable way possible but it's highly worth it and yeah uh there's another ship that they released for the may 4th event uh this is part of the may 4th event it's a permanent uh, addition to the game so it's very fun very enjoyable for may 4th event compared to last year this one i've enjoyed a lot more because it's actually added like a permanent ship to the game and this ship is very fun once you've got it. And so, yeah, I'll look forward to any other thing they're going to release next. But, uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below what you want to see next. And, yeah, see ya. Goodbye.